Good morning, roguelike fans. Uh, today we have a look at another one kilobyte roguelike. Uh, I was going to start today by looking at the one kilobyte roguelike called Luck by, again, Slashy, Santiago Zapata. That was my plan. Um, I have located that game. I have a copy. I just can't get it to run. I thought it'd be really fun to look at uh, another game by him because we're, we're looking at so many uh, concentrated in a short span of time. It's just interesting to see them develop. Unfortunately, as I said, I can't get it uh, running, but it just goes to show you just how prolific that roguelike developer is. He had another, he had a one kilobyte roguelike called Luck. Uh, if you can get it running, let me know uh, what I have to do to get it running. In the meantime, we have this one kilobyte roguelike, which is really quite innovative, and it is by another prolific designer. This one, Jakob Debski, uh, the gentleman who made Bomber Rogue, and... Uh, I believe another one kilobyte roguelike rogue -like we looked at. I'm not quite sure which. I'd have to double check. Uh, going back through the uh, the archives of what I've uh, recorded in the last uh, month or two. Um, this one is called Orcs. Um, and it's got a really cool premise. Let me just read to you um, from this rule book. Um, with a few minor adjustments, again, uh, a lot, of, uh, oddly, a lot of roguelike developers specifically, I'm not sure why roguelike developers in particular, but a lot of them seem to be uh, from Eastern European regions or, or just other regions of the world, and uh, they all have a, an incredible grasp of English, um, but often it's not a, a flawless syntax, so I may have to modify a few uh, sentences here. But essentially what it says here is this. One kilobyte roguelike game. Orcs! So, brave hero, you went to the orcish mines and got their crystal crown? Ha! You really think this is over? Watch for the surprise that the orcs prepared especially for you. After a long way up, with blunted sword in hand and crown in the backpack, your face was finally covered in moonlight. However, the pain from bleeding wounds was too strong to let you perceive the beauty of the rocky area where the entrance to the orcish mines was. There was only one way home, a long way east where human civilization lays. A noise recalling whispers of stream suddenly changed into a roar of a hundred voices when distant shapes spotted you. Orcs, you screamed, and started to run for your life. So the basic concept of this is you've already completed your adventure. You're an adventurer who's already finished the adventure. You've gotten your a crystal crown uh, from orcish mines. And now the orcs are charging behind you. It's like that scene in Indiana Jones at the beginning, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, when he comes over the hill and there's all those guys right behind him. So they're hot on your hill. You can see right over here in our... Uh, let me just make sure my window is open. Right over here you can see the, uh, the O's. These are the various orcs chasing you. Um, this is us, the handy at sign. Um, now, some interesting points about this game. You start with 100 hit points, but because you are bleeding, you are wounded at the start, you lose one hit point every turn. In other words, you're dead in 100 turns unless you can find a way to get that up. MP stands for magic powder. Um, to use magic powder, you press the letter P. When you use it, it will use all of your magic powder. This will drop to zero, and you will go forward a number to the right. Uh, forward is right a number of squares equal to the amount of magic powder you have. So if you had like 20 of these things, you could fling 20 squares to the right. Uh, but it'll use it all. We're on turn one. Your turn does seem to count as basically a score. I, I finished my last game, I didn't record the score. It was something like 767 turns or something I made it. But I didn't win. I'm assuming, I'm not certain of this, but I am assuming the victory condition is get past this line. Um, I think if you can get past, if you can get to the right, to this part of the territory you win the game. I'm reasonably sure if any of these O's touch you, or maybe even if you just fall off the edge of the screen on this side, you lose the game. There are other ways to lose, of course, when your hit points reaches zero. Now, the general controls are, are quite interesting, um, because you use the number pad, and you use the, you know, the standard uh, directional keys on the number pad to go north, northeast, east, southeast, and south. That would be eight, nine, six, three, and two. But what's interesting is those are the only directions you can go. You cannot go northwest, you cannot go west, you cannot go southwest, and you cannot wait because the orcs are hot on your heels. You have to go to the right. They're coming from the left. Now, there are some other uh, interesting factors. We'll, uh, we'll approach this as we go. I guess, I guess the staircase to my left is, the, is probably the, the orcish mines I just emerged from. Let's start moving, and you'll see what happens. I'm going to go to the northeast. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to put my keyboard, or my arrow, pardon me, into the game itself, because I just typed into a text file here instead. Okay, northeast. <laughs> and you'll see the, the map scrolls. But the thing is, it scrolls one to the left no matter what you do. Uh, even if you move straight up, the, the map still scrolls one to the left. So you are always being channeled to the right. Now, if 
let's say I moved up here. Let's say I moved up northeast again. We'd be in trouble because I'd be trapped by this wall and it would start pushing me this way. And I can't go southwest or northwest. I might just be dead. I'm not sure. I, I didn't run into that nightmarish uh, inevitability when I played last. I just ran out of blood. Um, so you've got to be constantly watching to make sure you have an escape route. You can, you know, say we're here, you could go north. and But every time you go north, you're going to get pushed one to the left as well because the screen is scrolling. So you're getting closer to meeting your doom and I think further from achieving your goal. Um, so in general, you want to get over here, but you can't do it just manually. If I just keep moving southeast and east, I move one to the right, and this thing moves one to the left. So you're basically on a treadmill, um, and you will, as you see, we drop one hit point. You will just run out of hit points. So you have to find ways to move extra squares to the right, as well as get your hit points back. How do you do that? Well, let's uh, move southeast here. Let's move southeast. Now, there's one thing on the horizon you can see beyond this uh, jumble of things that I assume represents human civilization. A little happy face. Um, and that's this letter A. Uh, there is an, a neat phenomenon in the one kilobyte roguelikes we've explored so far uh, that seem to have a, an almost universal feature, and that is that the higher a letter in the alphabet, the tougher that monster that it represents is. Um, I'm not sure if there was some initial prototype one kilobyte roguelike that used this, uh, this feature, um, and all the other ones looked at it and said, wow, that is a really slick and sleek way to uh, convey a strength of a monster without having to resort to a query which we cannot fit in our 1024 bytes of code um, or if, it, if if they'd all struck on it coincidentally at the same time that seems unlikely to me there must have been something initially that said hey this is a cool way to handle monsters um, but whatever it is I haven't discovered it yet anyways this is a, an orc hidden among the rocks so there are in addition to the orcs chasing you there are orcs waiting to ambush you now that can be good news for you, an A especially. An A will take us one hip to kill it, a B would take us two, a C would take us three, blah blah blah. Every time you're hitting it, of course, pres presuming you can, s well if we hit it, a B, and we'd bounce back and we'd get pulled one to the left, of course. I think the uh, the letters can throw you to the west a bit as well. Sometimes I've seen it happen at least once, but not far. Um, but because it's an A, if we hit it once, it'll die. And every, why do you want to kill them? I mean, you could just avoid them. Every time you kill them, you'll get one magic powder. And again, remember, when we use our magic powder, we will get flung that many squares to the right, and all our magic powder will go away. So if we, if we can accumulate enough to catapult us across this line, the magic powder might see us home. So you want to kill those guys when you can. I didn't do it in my first game. I, I mean, I, I did kill some, but I didn't uh, succeed, is what I'm saying. You see our health dropping. That's still a big problem. All right, we killed him. We got some magic powder. You also see an interesting phenomenon. As soon as you kill a monster, you also move one to the right. So we're actually one column closer to home now. Uh, we're not dead center anymore. We're one column, column to the right. There is another way to do that as well. I'm not seeing that way manifest yet. Uh, so it could just be a purely random chance of how often these special... Oh, there's one. Fuck, I went the wrong way. Alright, we want to get down to the southeast. Okay, we can get that one. These question marks are... What are they called? Oh, they're herbs. They're herbs you can find. Uh, growing in the countryside. I guess we're in some sort of badlands here. These are all walls. If you grab herbs, two good things. One, your hit points increase by 20. Thank God. Um, and two, you catapult one to the right. Even if that puts you in a wall, if we grab this herb, it will, in addition to grabbing it, if we move from here to here, we'll grab it and it'll push us into this square. You can occupy a wall square in that one circumstance. Um, but uh, if there was a second wall here, we'd be blocked by it. All right, let's keep moving. We want to get that scroll for sure. I got very lucky with scrolls in my first game. Okay, there you can see we catapulted one ahead, so we're now, I think, two off center, I think, unless we've lost some ground. I, I wasn't paying atten enough attention to know if we lost some ground. If you ever move directly north or south, you lose ground, of course, because, well, you're, uh, you're not moving east. <laughs> that said, I am going to do it right now, um, once. So we're losing ground, because we're going to regain it here, but at least we gain 20 hit points and regain it. Let's try and kill that bee, get some magic powder. That will cost us a bit of ground too, but if it eventually results in us having enough magic powder to fling ourselves forward, well, that's not so bad, is it? Hit him once, and you can see because he's blocking us, I guess that's what it means by fling you right. He's blocking us, so it moved us one to the left. But now we'll kill him and move one to the right. So we got just as much ground. A bee can gain you just as much ground in that way. You don't lose ground, in other words. 
but we gain one magic powder. A C, on the other hand, I think we'd have to lose at least one ground. Because even in killing him, we'd get pushed one to the right, but it would take us, well, three, I guess, to kill him. I'm, let's, uh, I think this is our, like, point of origin. I think we're two, well, maybe here. Let's just put that dead center and leave it there for now. Again, I am only surmising that uh, moving off the right edge of the screen will, will win us the game. I'm not sure. I didn't uh, think of that tactic until I was well into the game last time. So maybe it can be easy. But again, of course, um, it's random when those uh, herbs show up and such. And uh, although I found the beginning of the game, last game, extremely easy, I did reach a point where it was just uh, where there was no herbs on the screen for a long while, and it was getting very, very hard to navigate to get them. I'm not sure what the algorithm algorithm is to put them out. If it diminishes as time goes on, if they become less frequent, or if it was just coincidence. Shit, can I get up there? And get that herb. Do I want that herb? I don't know if I do. We'd have to lose one ground to go north here. That might be it. Maybe that's worth it. Okay. We're losing one ground here. But I think we can regain that ground right there. Gain a bit of ground here. I'm going to try and get... Ooh, there's one there. Can I get to it? We're going to lose one ground when we go for this uh, herb in a second, but we'll also gain one ground because we grab it. So it, we, net loss is zero, and we're back to 100 hit points. Your maximum hit points is 100, by the way. You can't go above that. Hmm. If I could have got down to that B. Take your time with this one. I'm, uh, I'm moving a little faster than I should probably because I'm uh, recognizing all of a sudden, hey, there was a strategy I could have used and I didn't use it. Like, I could have gotten down to that B, I'm sure, if I hadn't taken one wrong turn. And killing him would have been valuable. Let's try and get down to that, uh... I almost said scroll. I was going to say scroll beyond the E, the herb. But let's get this one instead. It'll serve us just as well, and we don't have to deal with that E. That E would be a big problem. Okay. F is the maximum, uh level of ambushing orc you can meet uh, in the Badlands here, by the way. I've uh, I read that in the uh, description. Now, if we went down southeast, we could get down to here, no problem. But there's no way through here unless we went backwards. We can't get down here to this. There's no way through. Because remember, you cannot go to the left, even if you want to. Can we get up to that one? If we went northeast, northeast, we'd have to go north. We'd lose one ground. Northeast, we'd lose two... I don't think it's worth it. We'd lose too much ground in trying to grab that thing for now. We're not close enough to death to merit deviating that substantially. Definitely can't get the one way to the north of the uh, map. We can't reach that for sure. There we go. That'll help us. It's an innovative game. Again, what, I, what I'm loving most about the one kilobyte roguelikes, in addition to the fact that they, they often tend to have, you know, uh, interesting little quirky stories like even even an energon absorber which is you know going to a an old church where there's a single zombie to chase you around while you're looking for a hundred dollar coin why you risk your life for a hundred dollars i don't know but maybe you're really hard up for money um but whatever the rationale is um in that story or any story they're, they're they come with interesting stories but what i love most about them is the interesting mechanics the constantly scrolling screen to the s screen to the west is obviously not something you'd encounter in a traditional roguelike. Um, but it works here. It's a simple th thought. Again, I've mentioned this more than once in, in our... Can I get up there? One, two... No. I'd have to go way too many north, norths to get to that. and We'd end up backtracking too much. Not yet. We may have to soon make sacrifices like that just to stay alive. I'm not sure. Can we get down to the B and kill him? Um, it reminds me of the old... I've said this so many times, but it reminds me of the old arcade games um, of the past. I'm not sure if we just got health for killing him, too. Did we? I, I, I gotta watch that a little more closely. Um, we have five now. Five's not enough to get us across that line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 
10, 11, 11 or 12 magic powder. I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure if you had to hit the line or get over the line. Would be enough to. Uh, to um, get us there. Assuming we don't lose ground. Um, I'm also not sure if... Uh, I guess not. I was going to say, I'm also not sure if these letters represent, you know, upcoming ambushing orcs. But I'm guessing not, because there's an at symbol in this side of it, too. I'm guessing it's just a random uh, array of, I don't know, hodgepodge to symbolize a town. Let's move a little slower here, because uh, we are definitely going to lose if we don't. Fuck. I did this wrong. I'm losing ground, but I have to grab this. Or else we die. I can't get that one, though. That's just asking for too much. You're asking for too much. Can I get down to that one? Yeah, this is a... It's odd. The The fact that it's constantly scrolling west makes it feel like an old-school arcade, and it feels like you should be rushing like to get away from... Or There's a sense of urgency, obviously. You're literally being chased. But it is turn-based, and if you take your time to absorb, okay, what's where, and do some calculations of how you can get there, you'll, you'll, you'll fare better than I'm faring. We're still alive, but we are not doing well. We're obviously almost out of health. And, uh... Additionally, okay, can I get up to that one instead? I was going to go down to get the one to the south, but this will work better. Additionally, um, we're not close enough to that finish line to make it, probably, unless we get very lucky with... Uh, these, incidentally, are our tracks, the bloody tracks that the orcs are following. The blood we're leaving behind, which I think is a nice little touch. I mention that only because... Uh, you probably clued into what that is. It's obviously the path we're following, but in a lot of games, a lot of uh, ASCII roguelikes, that represents a trap, and I didn't want you to think we were like, leaving traps for the orcs behind us. It's just our bloody trail. All right, I need health, man. Or we are in trouble. Fuck. I, I looked away for a second and moved too quickly. We might have been able to get up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We'd have to lose a lot of ground to get it, though. Even if it could save us, it's not worth it. Can we get to that guy? Maybe. Let's not move fast, because something else may show up that could help us more. Like that one. Let's go for that one to our right. We are going to cut this very close. One, two, three, four. We can't make it unless... If we use our magic powder... <laughs> fuck. One, two, three, four, five. I think we die here. One step shy of that scroll. If we go here and use it, use our magic powder, we go one, two, three. I think we, I think we land directly on it. Let's hope that's true. Let's press P. No, oh, we overshot it. <laughs> Oh, miscalculation that cost me. I don't think I can do anything. That's also an interesting way to find out. You, know, you saw the magic powder in action. You can see how close we were to to putting enough distance between us and the orcs to get some freedom. I guess that's what it really symbolizes, is can you shake your tail? Not, not can you get to the town, because the town wouldn't be constantly scrolling on the horizon unless it was a mirage. Um, but rather, can you outrun the orcs who are chasing you to the point where they give up pursuit? Um, but we're, we're not going to make it, obviously. I can't go to the right. I, th I can't go north, I can't go south, I can't do anything. I'm going to try going to the... I'll try going to the southeast and see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll let me climb over that hill. Nope, it's pushing me backwards. It's trying to get me away. That's interesting. I was, I was pressing to the southeast. I wasn't deliberately choosing that. It's like it pathfinds for you to get to a point where you can go to the right, which is actually very impressive for a... for a, um, a one kilobyte rogue like that. They fit that in. There you go. That is Orcs. Um, I'll include a link to where you can find this game by Jakob Debski. Nice job, sir. That's an interesting game. Um, great challenge. I will surely return to that at some point and try to beat it, because it feels like it is winnable if you are lucky and if you are smart and you take your time. Key points. Okay, that's it for me for possibly today. I'm not sure. I have some free time, but I have some things I should do. And, uh... 
I've been shirking on the workout for the last two days, so I really have to get on that. Anyways, that's it. Uh, you guys have a great day. Let's press space bar, see what happens. It collapses. Have a good one, guys. Download orcs from the uh, link below. Bye.